me so tough And now I'm gonna take a trip in the world I go Previously on Sailing Ruby Rose, we have been exploring the lovely town of Valencia in Spain, but also been working hard to try and get our boat ready for the winter season. Good morning. Good morning. I'm looking for the TV remote control. Let's start again in a minute. No, let's just carry on. Let's just style this out. So good morning. It is our last day in Valencia, which is a bit of a boo moment because we've really, really enjoyed Valencia, haven't we? We have lovely. We've had a lovely time in Valencia. So uh, today is moving day. We have got to take the boat up the coast. It's only five or six miles to our haul out facility. We would have obviously stayed here, but Valencia Marina has no lift out. Kind of mixed, mixed emotions. We've had a really, really awesome season. It's been kind of like fantastic. There's so many things we've done. We've seen two continents. We've actually seen three continents as we sail past Africa. See what I did there? See what I did there? Uh, so that's really, yeah, we are kind of getting to the end of the season and always time to reflect. Anything you need to add, my love? I don't know. I think that we're just, you know, we're, we're part of us uh, reflecting on what we've done this year. And then we're also looking forward to all the exciting things we've got planned for next year. Which by the time you're watching this episode is actually not going to be too far away. Yeah, and we need to explain something, don't we? My tennis ball. <laughs> Therese, can you explain the tennis ball? <laughs> well, Nick had a drink at the bar. Or two. And then decided that that was the best time for him to do a haircut, which he usually does himself without a mirror or anything. He just, like, goes for it. He's been doing this for, what, about 15, 20 years? So it's not like, you know, this is a new thing. And uh, so I was like, just kind of minding my own business, and he said to me, "Oh, can you can you do the back? Because I have to just trim the back that he can't get to." And I looked at him, and I was like, <laughs> "What have you done?" Yeah, so to cut a long story short, I had too many drinks and cut my own hair. <laughs> he cut it like and shaved is, it. He is, shaved it. This is this is the shortest I've ever had my hair yeah. ever. Yeah. I hate it. Teresa likes it. I look like a Flaming tennis ball. I anyway, really like it. Digression. Guys, comment down below. Let look, me know. I look bald. I need to get no, some sort don't. of comb over going. No, no, no. You anyway, this is a sailing channel, not some sort of. A, comment uh, below and tell us what you think of Nick's hair. It looks like an effing tennis ball. Anyway, look, we've got to get sailing. Yeah. So, uh, sailing up the coast day, uh, the weather passed through. Uh, we had some really kind of hazy and some very, very strong winds and some strong rains. So, it'd be nice to get the boat up for her final journey of the season. So, yeah, we're looking forward to that. So, yeah. let's get going. Let's go. Point 
Pobla Marina, Pobla Marina, not Ruby really Road. Just as you're entering the channel at the end of this tunnel, we have here. Okay, sweet. Don't let him take that midline off. So here we are. This is uh, where we're going to spend the next couple of nights um, until we get hauled out. We are right next to the boatyard. I'm going to show you. That's literally my current view right now. Uh, we're getting hauled out on Friday. It's currently Tuesday. They did offer to haul us out. They said we can do it tomorrow, but you know, once we're on the hard, it's just a bit of a pain having to go up and down the ladder all the time to get on and off the boat. You know. Even things like having a shower, you can't drain the shower water all over the boatyard. So, you know, it's just easier to be in the water. And then, as we've already said, we've got work to do on the boat while it's on the hard. And then we fly back to London and that's our season over. And you'll be watching this. I don't even know when you'll be watching this, but we are probably three months behind at the moment. So you might be watching this as we're getting ready for our next season, which uh, is good for you because you don't need to wait. We need to wait for a few months. How'd you go? Uh, the garden. Uh, as, as always, my Spanish lets me down. I changed the lift to tomorrow. We got oh, the... we're going out tomorrow. Yeah, this is our last morning in the water. Tomorrow at eight. Um, at 8 a.m. Uh -huh. um, they're going to lift the boat. Oh. My thoughts behind it were that um, if we wait till Friday, if we, if we get lifted out on Wednesday, it gives us two extra days. The quicker we can get this boat put to bed, the quicker we can maybe go and, you know, it's done. It just gives us an extra few days. Morning. Morning, morning, morning. So today is lift out day. Um, we had our lift out changed from Friday to Wednesday, 8 a.m. And I said to the woman, uh, 8 a.m. It's dark at 8 a.m. She goes, no, 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 8 a.m. is fine. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm like, this is Spain. So it's 8.35 and nothing's happened. Anyway, there are some people in the yard now. I am always a little bit nervous when we ha are lifted out. Firstly, because boats aren't meant to be out of the water. And secondly, because um, we've never used this yard before. So I wanna make sure that everything's done fine. And we, because we have a lifting kill, we have to be chocked and blocked in a slightly different way. Um, I explained it as best I could uh, using sign language uh, yesterday to the man and some Google Translate and he seems very competent so I'm full of faith that he knows what he needs to do and uh, hopefully we'll get our boat carefree into a very 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 narrow slot uh, in the dock to get a pulled out. Do all the fenders need to come in? Do all the fenders need to come in? The only one that was near the strap. Off the boat. Oh, the front our boat either in or out of the water I just think that she's just the most beautiful boat I've ever seen obviously I'm biased but she's just she is just beautiful she's gonna be even more beautiful after we do all of our jobs on her get her looking really nice for next year I think they might even be putting us uh, in a position where we're gonna have a little view of the uh, of the Mediterranean Sea That'd be nice. First time that we've been in a boatyard with a good view, that's for sure. And that's how it's done. 
Happy? Yep. Yeah, you're right. I mean, aside from this stuff, it's not that filthy underneath. It's not brilliant. Not as bad as I thought it would be. It's all like uh, these kind of little barnacles. Yeah, it's not like the um, like green slimy grass that we had in Charleston. We actually had a ladder of our own for this very purpose. But, um, Nick, what happened to our ladder? You dropped it in the bloody water. I may or may not have dropped it in the water. It may or may not be currently sitting at the bottom of a marina in southern Spain. Oopsie. Are we allowed to use this ladder? All right, just clambered back on board. And um, this is our view. <laughs> How good is this? What a sweet view! That's amazing! So yeah. It's the best view I've ever had in a boat yard. Definitely the best view we've ever had in a boat yard. By a mile. Not that there's much competition. But yeah. So we're just settling down for our evening. Let's see. And uh, we just happened to look outside our cockpit and see the moon rise which looks absolutely spectacular and yes I'm aware that you can't see me and I apologize but anyway here you go told me all your secrets then you said it would rain Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you like what we do and you want to see what we do every week, then please hit that subscribe button. single part of you. How does it hurt? I tear it up all